Welcome, it's Raj from 3CB. The UFC 259 main event between Israel Stabender Adesanya and Jan Vlahovic on Saturday, March 6th was a cat and mouse affair with Jan successfully defending his light heavyweight championship in a unanimous decision. The key heading into the fight was how Jan would neutralize Izzy's impeccable distance control and ability to fight on the outside. Vlahovic destabilized Stabender's approach via three key tactics. Jan was extremely disciplined and committed to checking Adesanya's low calf kicks, arguably Izzy's greatest weapon, as Costa. Not only anticipating and timing the checks well, but rotating and angling the leg so Adesanya's kick would catch the anterior front shin, which can be very painful for the attacker. It's possible that Izzy's recommended follow-up medical assessment of a left foot and ankle x-ray is due to a kick check. Even when Jan wasn't able to read and react quickly enough to rotate the shin, he rarely got caught with that lead leg planted, quote, closed kinetic chain, which imparts significantly more force from external contact and can cause heavy rotational torque at the knee as well. As Jan became more comfortable with his kick check timing and less respectful of Izzy's hip feints not backing up, he really set off on destabilizing Stylebender, sitting in the pocket to deliver clean counters and bursting quickly to close down space and deliver contact through multiple avenues including straight angle jabs, looping hooks, rear leg kicks to the body, Clinches and takedowns, more on this in a second. Fainting a grab with a shoulder dip and delivering high. And switching stances to change angles. The attacker defender roles clearly reversed as the match went on. Lastly, Jan clearly made it a point to tire out Stylebender by making him feel his body weight via clinches and takedowns. It becomes much harder to maintain distance control and cognitive capacity, thinking clearly, anticipating one or two steps ahead when you're tired. To that point, I felt the tide of the match noticeably turned in the fourth round when Jan executed an extended takedown and depleted Adesanya's energy reserves. This is where the weight differential really comes into play, since getting leverage for that long is extremely tiring. The result was a clearly fatigued Adesanya in the fifth and final round, capped off by another takedown, which was essentially all she wrote for Stylebender's chances. Overall, a tremendous tactical fight with Blahovic using a patient, three-pronged approach to get the better of Adesanya. Really hoping to see this matchup again, as he really delivered a great fight and can't wait to see the adjustments that take place.